Welcome to the second video ESP32 web server. We have already created an access point, and now we will create a simple web server. Let's create a new project again, and give some random name to it. Go to Protocols, HTTP Server, and select the simple template. Here is our main file. Let's build this once. It has finished building. Now we will copy the code from this one, into our web server. Let's copy the includes first. Then we will copy this handler. And also this URI structure. We don't need to copy others, as we will create new ones in our code. We just need the structure of these functions, and this is why copying one of them is fine. We do need the 404 error handler. Then we also need the start web server function, stop web server, connect handler, and the disconnect handler. Next we will copy the main function, so let's copy this definition. We also need to copy netif init, as the flash init is already there. Now we will copy these two lines. We don't need to copy this web server start, as we will start it inside the connect handler itself. So this is it for the copying part. Now let's delete that project, as we don't need it anymore. Some of these includes were already there, so I am going to delete those. We don't need the Ethernet, or the examples, or the crypto includes. Let's build it once to check for the errors. There is some error due to tag. Actually it should have been defined on the top. Let me change this to web server. This is just used in logs, that's it.
We have some errors here, we will come back to this. Let's start with the handler first. This is the URI structure, this is the URI it looks for, and this is the handler it calls. Let's name it LED off. And this will look for LED off. If it detects the URI, it will call the LED off handler. Here we will rename this to LED off handler. Let's delete everything inside, and we will rewrite this ourselves. Here we will first send the log that the LED is turned off. Then we will copy the user CTX into the response. Here the user CTX is, hello world. Then the server will send the response. If the response will be sent successfully, it will log it, or else it will log the error. In the 404 handler, it has been set to look for these strings. We don't need it, we can just simply send the error message. Now we need to register the URI structure we just created. We named it LED off, so we will register the same. Now in the end, we are registering an event. And if the event got triggered, the connect handler will be called. The event here it's set to, got station IP, which happens in case of station mode. But since we are using the access point mode, we will set it to access point IP assigned. We don't need the disconnect handler. So, when the IP is assigned to the access point, the event will be triggered, and the connect handler will be called. Inside the connect handler we will start the web server. Let's test this much code first. Let's open our terminal also. Note that this particular event hasn't been triggered yet. So the connect handler hasn't been called, and the web server hasn't started yet. But as soon as one station connects to the access point, the web server will start. Also note the IP allocated to the station. It's 192.168.4.2. It's because the IP with 4.1 has been allocated to the access point itself, and therefore it's the IP of the server. We need to access the same URI, that we have created in the program. Here you can see the hello world is being displayed by the server. Also note the logs, they are same as we put in the LED off handler. The user CTX was hello world, and that's what was sent by the server. This is it for the simple web server. The next video will continue from here, and we will create some buttons.